Hi, I'm Cantor Ellen Dreskin, and I'm thrilled to be here today to share a little bit about the prayer Aleinu L'Shabeach. I do a lot of traveling to congregations around the country as a scholar or artist in residence, and I speak a lot about the liturgy and have conversations with people. Aleinu L'Shabeach is a prayer that a lot of Jews have a problem with because it says that we are not like other peoples that our families are not like other families of the earth, that our lot in life is different than those of other peoples. This gives people pause. What am I gonna do with these words? I'm not sure I like this idea of chosenness, of us always saying that we're so different. But I look at Aleinu L'Shabeach as a prayer differently. I do believe that Jews are chosen of a sort, but I don't believe it's chosen for privilege. I believe very strongly that it's chosen for responsibility. God says, I freed you from Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm because I have a job for you to do. You're going to bring my message to the people and you're going to be a light to the nations. And it's an enormous job. It's an enormous responsibility. Your role is not like other roles. Our story is not like other stories. We are shaped by different myths and legends and perspectives and relationships with God than other peoples of the earth. And they could say the same thing as well. And here we are with Aleinu L'Shabeach. And I can sing it if I remember that because of our Torah, because of our stories, because of the way I have been raised, I am different and I have a job in the world. So that's the first thing that I want to uncover about Aleinu L'Shabeach and perhaps a new perspective or a different perspective than you might have thought of before. I also look at where Aleinu L'Shabeach falls in the service. It's part of our concluding prayers. We practically have one foot out the door when we say Aleinu L'Shabeach, it is upon us to praise God because of who we are and because of how different we are and because of the job we have to do. We must praise. But we've already done all our praise. We're almost done with the service. So what are we doing? So I love to think that Aleinu L'Shabeach, the prayer, is a reminder to me of what I need to do, not in this very moment, although that's lovely, but what's next? What am I supposed to do with these words after I walk out the door? What kinds of prayers is Aleinu L'Shabeach a conclusion to? We've issued an invitation. We've had call and response in our service already. We've recalled our ancestors and their relationship with God. And we have sung about our exodus from Egypt and the crossing of the sea. And again, that reminder that we were freed because there was a job to be done. So my friend Dan Nichols and I took all of these ideas about Aleinu L'Shabeach and we composed a midrashic sort of interpretation of the words themselves. And I'd like to share that with you now. It's up to us to call ourselves to task, to sing what's good and true, to bring about redemption, it's what we were freed to do. For what's the point of being here if we're not moved to change our ways? Aleinu l'shabeach It's time to live our praise. We are carrying the stories of the ones who came before what stories will be told of us when we are here no more? We commit ourselves to action, it brings meaning to our days. Aleinu l'shabeach, it's time.
it's time to live our praise. It's up to us to hold the vision. We are an answer to a call. It's up to us to live the words we speak for the benefit of all. It's up to us to bow down deeply. There's a broken world to raise. Alleluia Shabbat. It's time to live our praise. Alleluia Shabbat. It's time.